Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a PLA from Push Plastics. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a PLA uh, that they say here should be printed at 190 to 220 degrees and I was printing at 205 degrees my normal PLA temperature and had good results. Uh, bed temperature is set to none to 60 degrees and speed 30 to 90 millimeters per second. So that's a fairly common speed and temperature for a PLA. But here they say it's a high quality standard PLA uh, available in many great colors. And in this sample it was a 50% extra length. So there was a quite a lot of filament in this sample. So that was awesome to see. But let's have a look at the prints. So here I did a small retraction test. And as you can see, there's, it's quite hairy, but it's very thin uh, strings. And I was having C-Hop enabled. And after seeing this, I disabled C-Hop and printed without any stringing, so to speak, or very little stringing after that. But I always try to have C-Hop enabled to begin with and then see how the filament goes but this was in other regards coming out great and here I printed another string test without C-Hop and here it's very clean and very small amount of stringing it's almost no stringing so this was coming out excellent and I continued with a setting for the remaining prints and did Mr. Belly and he came out excellent uh, it's a very deep red color and I really like this the red color. Um, you can see there might be a tiny amount of stringing but nothing nothing serious. But this was coming out excellent. Um, uh, the model is really simple to print and it's a quite, quite fun print. <laughs> then printed out a maker coin and um, that came out also excellent. You can see how red, the dark red the color is, it's really excellent. The letters came out great and no, no issues. Uh, then printed out the money cart and this one came out also excellent. Um, there's a little bit of difference in shine from this part here to the uppermost part when there was maybe more heat in the filament because of it's a small area. So you can probably get it to shine a little bit more if you print it in a hotter temperature. But this was coming out excellent nevertheless, and no issues here. And also with the Otis model, it came out excellent, and no issues, and no stringing to speak of in, in this part. Something gets stringing here in between, if, if it's a stringy filament, but this came out excellent. And then the Omnum also came out excellent. Um, no issues. I sometimes get drooping a little bit in this part, but it was not happening here. So this is coming out excellent and no issues. And in the end I printed out two more maker coins just to use a little bit more of the filament. And they both came out excellent. So this was a very good filament to use and very easy to use. So this was my quick overview of the PLA from Push Plastics. They have sent uh, in the MakerBox samples filaments before and I've always got uh, easy to use filaments in their samples. It's a, it's a filament that I could recommend to use. It's given me good results in all the tests I've done, so I'm quite happy with it. But this will be it for this video. I, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.